got a little sidetracked earlier when I was talking about healthcare. And uh, I wanted to back up a little bit and maybe see if we can understand how this whole thing has really gotten out of hand. Insurance companies, all right? Insurance companies insure against accidents based on, I guess what you would call algorithms. But it's really just uh, an equation that kind of figures out based on things that you and I do in our own lives how much of a risk we are to die or like get seriously injured, you know, by like, uh, you know, but anyway, so you have the insurance companies and we pay them so that if we get sick, we go to the hospital and we have to have like an IV. What it normally holds is saline solution and water. Uh, anyway, it typically holds saline solution. So let's say you get sick and you go in for a saline solution IV and, uh, that IV, a thousand dollars. So you go home and get your bill for a thousand dollars, but you're like, hey, hey, I got insurance, so it's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pay two hundred and fifty dollars as my deductible, and the insurance company's gonna pay the rest, seven hundred fifty bucks in this in this instance. So that's seven hundred fifty bucks the insurance company puts up for you. Um, the reason it's seven hundred and fifty dollars and not something more like I don't know fifty bucks. I mean, how much does a little bit of steel, plastic, and salt water cost? And then the labor to stick it in your vein. But the reason it's a thousand dollars is because the hospital needs insurance too, and so it knows that the insurance company has its by the our doctors have to have malpractice insurance because somebody you know might come in there and uh, have surgery on their foot or something um, I had a friend of mine he uh, he's a pretty dumb guy but anyway he wasn't paying attention and the wound from the uh, the scar from where they did the surgery got infected and uh, I could tell it was getting infected so I told him, do you have any antibiotics? He found some antibiotics and Bactrin, started taking it. The point is, Mike could have sued his doctor for being a dumbass. And then the doctor would have had to have paid a lot of money for Mike. Oh, I just mentioned who the person was. So anyway, there is a cycle where healthcare has to drive these costs up. It's a, it's a demon. It's a demon consuming itself. Whoops. And so the hospitals, they know that they're going to have to end up paying the insurance companies. So what they do is they jack the price up. The insurance company is going to have to front the whole rest of that bill. Now, pretend it's not $1,000 and pretend it's like a real surgery that's like $30,000. And then your copay is $500. And then the insurance company has to come up with $29,500. So... In that method, the healthcare providers stick it to the insurance company, but the insurance company sticks it back to the healthcare providers and us because we have to have it. Otherwise, we're going to pay these ridiculous rates. So we've identified the problem. We've identified the struggle. Now, I'm going to go take a, uh, a brief moment to make some, uh, some green tea because I think I'm getting a little stressed.